Thank you for tuning in today to the second part of the suspension rebuild for the 91 Chevy shop truck. Uh, it's not a real long video today because uh, the reassembly of the front end parts is pretty straightforward. Uh, we took everything out, showed that, and reassembly, I mean the upper control arms bolt right back in, the lower spindles, etc. Uh, there are a few tips to learn all, all along the way. For example, the inner and outer tie rod ends. The ones that are currently on your truck may not be the same length or designed exactly the same way as the new part. In other words, the area that's threaded may be longer or shorter. So when you put your inner and outer tie rod in together with the adjusting sleeve, twist them together uh, fairly equal until you get a length from the center of each ball joint that would pretty well match what the center of each ball joint on your existing linkage is. That way it doesn't matter if you're trying to measure a specific distance on the threads or from the adjusting sleeve to a ball joint uh, center, that may not be accurate uh, for the new parts as opposed to what's already on your truck. So take the total length from the ball joint that goes into the outer tie right in at the spindle to the center link, take that length, put the two together and that'll put you close. On the Pittman arm, the Pittman arm has, uh, when you look on the inside of it, it's, it's, it's notched or thread, and not, not really threaded, it's got splines. And there are four keyways at the 12, 3, 6, and 9 point that line up with the same marks on the shaft coming out of the string box. So it only can go in every 90 degrees. Uh, you can't really clock it off just a little bit off. Uh, so it really goes in one way. It's also put on very tight. So if you don't already have the correct uh, size socket to fit it, which I did not, I used a large crescent wrench with a breaker bar uh, attached to it with a couple of heater hose clamps to get my leverage and just put it on really tight. Um, it's not gonna fall off. Also, assemble all of your linkage first. So you have your internet or tie rod in with the adjusting sleeve for left and right side, your center link, Put your pitman arm and the idler arm on first. And the reason being in the center, the portion that sticks out that looks like that, and you can see that your center link grows, goes across that. If you attach your tie rod ends to the wheels first, it's much more difficult to get that bar above that piece of the frame and to connect your idler arm and your, and your pitman arm. As a tip to getting those bolts in the right spot, you can see the lower one uh, never did fall out of the hole, so I'm good there, but the top one did. So in order to get the top one in the hole, you gotta go through the width of the frame to get it there. I'm using one of these magnets. It's got a little extension on it, a little handle with extension, and I'm putting the bolt on the end of it like that. And I'm just gonna go in. The top, there's a hole uh, right there. We'll be going through there, and we'll come out on this side. You have to feel around for it to kind of get a visual on it to make sure you're going in straight. And there it is. And this gives you something to kind of press on to hold it to start the nut. All the components have been installed now and have been torqued to spec uh, using the information from a Chilton's manual for the 88 to 98 trucks, uh, section 839 has all the torque specifications for everything in the suspension. There's a couple of pages of it here. Lots of great information there. Anyway, all the uh, tie rod ends, inner and outer, the uh, pitman arm, idler arm, everything has been torqued to spec. Uh, all the cotter pins have been installed, all the grease fittings have been installed, and it is complete. The only thing left to do is to grease the front end, and the tool I have to do that with is one of those cheap ones and it's crappy and uh, I'm gonna have to get another one because it won't it won't do the job I want it to do. That's gonna wrap up the front of the truck with the exception of getting the correct type of grease gun to address all the grease fittings and make sure all the joints are greased properly. Uh, the next project we're gonna tackle is gonna be the master cylinder. We're gonna install a 2001 Suburban master cylinder and we'll tackle that on the next video. Uh, I want to thank you for watching. If you have any questions, you know, down below, just put them in comments. Be glad to answer them for you. Also down below in the description, 
I'll have a list of all the products I use, links to them, prices, everything. That'll bring you up to speed on where we are with the project and how much we've spent so far. So thanks for watching. Appreciate a thumbs up. Subscribe so you can watch us throughout the build of this and other projects that we're going to have along the way. Yeah, thank you for taking the time to watch the video. Have a good day.